This Sudoku Primer video is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 106, which is a previous one to this one. Uh, video 106 was what, what I call a pop quiz, where I just fill in numbers without uh, explaining why. And your job is to try and follow along and see if you can understand why each number is placed where it is. So this is the answer sheet to that where I will explain why each number was placed where it was. This is puzzle number 35, the medium puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 109 by Soap Opera Digest. And uh, I'll just get started here. Yeah, put those three numbers in first. The six, I put that one in first, but it could have been here or here. But I looked at all three of these numbers, six, seven, and nine. I could see the seven had to go here because of these two sevens. And the nine had to go here because of these two nines, a nine here and a nine here. So the 7 had to go there, the 9 had to go there, and then I could see the 6 was left over, so I just filled them in in that order. And I placed a 4 here. And that one's pretty obvious. There's a 4 and a 4 there, so 4 had to go there. And I placed a 4 in block uh, box 2 right there because we have a 4 here. This one's not quite as straightforward. We have a 4 here. We've got a wall right here. So we know one of these three has to be a 4. So we've got a 4 here, ghost 4's here, and a 4 there. So we know that's a 4. Some of these are pretty pretty straightforward. Another one uh, is this 5 because we've got a 5 here and a 5 here. And I put a 5 in box 4 here. That one isn't quite as straightforward. we got a 5 here and a 5 here. So one of these two has, has to be a 5. There's a 5 here, but it could be in either one of those places. But if you look over here, we've got a 5 in this column and a 5 in this row. So the, the 5 in this box has to be here or here. So we've got a 5 here. Ghost 5's here and a 5 there and a 5 there. So we know that's why the, the 5 can fit there. And we put a 3 in box 9. Again, pretty straightforward. There's 3 there, 3 there. So 3 goes there. And then we just completed this row. There's a 1 and a 6 still missing. And we knew that was a 1 because there's a 6 right here. And then we just finished it with a 6 there. Then we've got, um, in this column here, we've got an 8 and a 9 missing. The 8 goes here because of that 9 right there, and then the 9 goes there in the re remaining cell in that column. Another way you could have seen this 8 was be we've got an 8 here and this wall here, so we know one of these two is an 8, and therefore the 8 goes there in this box. Then we placed a 9 here. Again, very easy. 9 there, 9 there. So 9 goes there. Okay, and then we looked at this column right here. Now we placed a 1 and a 3 here. And let's see. Well, we've got 1, 3, and 5 missing here before we put the 1 and 3 there. And we got a 3 and a 5 here, so we knew that was a 1. And then we've got a 3 here, so we knew that wasn't a 3. So we placed the 3 there. And then we placed the 5 
in box nine to complete that row or I mean that column. Then we placed a five right here. That one is pretty straightforward too. We got a five here, five here. So it constrains the five in this column and we've got a five there already. So we knew that was a five. Then we put a three in box three. And that's because we've got threes here already. And then we completed that box with a seven there. The only number missing in that box. Then we put a seven in box nine here. Um, then we placed a two here. Now those are because we've only we only had a two and a seven missing here. We already had a seven there, so we knew the seven went there and the two went there. We could also see that there's a seven and a two here. And we got a 7 and a 2 missing here. So we knew those were 7 and 2. And of course that 7 there. Um, told us that the 7 went there, the 2 went there. And we put a 2 here. Because we got a 2 there and a 2 there. So the 2 goes there in that box. Then we completed this column right here with a 9. And then there was only one more number in this in box 9, so I, and that was a 1, so we put that in. Then we put a 2 right here. Now let's look at that for a minute. We've got 2, 3, and 4 missing here, but there are no 2s up here or in these two columns or in this box. The only thing we have is a three here. So how did we know that was a two? Well, we've got a three here and a wall right here. So we know the three had to go in one of these two places. We've also got fours here and here. So we know a four had to be in one of these two places. So we have three, four twins there and therefore that had to be a two. And then um, there's a three here, so we can finish that. Um, another thing is, another reason we knew that's a three is because this box, uh, this row right here was almost done. Only had one number left. Okay, then we put a nine right here. Okay, if you look at this row right here. We are missing one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Four, six, eight, and nine. We got a four, six, and an eight in this column, so we knew that had to be a nine. Then we placed a three here because we've got a three here already, a three here, so it could have been in either of these two places, but we have a three there, so we know a three goes right there. Okay, now, this isn't part of the pop quiz, but I wanted to point this out because this is quite interesting. I know this number right here is a 1. I'm not going to fill it in yet because I didn't in the pop quiz, but let me show you why I know that's a 1. We, this is what we call a loner cell because we've it's the um, only cell in this box that's outside of this column. Uh, we've got a 9 and a 3 here because of and um, we see a 9 and a 3 here so, and then we've got a, a 2 and a 5 right here um, and those are in this box already and we've also got well we've got a 7 here so we know that this number either has to be this number or this number. 
and uh, let's see what we're missing here. We're missing one and seven here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one and seven there. And we're missing two and seven here. Um, <clears throat> so these numbers here have to be one, two, or seven. And now there's a 2 here, so we know these are 1 or 7, right? But even without this 2 here, we'd know, if this were a different number, we'd know that we'd, we have 1, 2, or 7 missing here in these two cells. And we already have a 2 and a 7 in this box, so we know that's a 1. So that's a pretty powerful way of um, looking at this situation here and discerning that there's a one right there. I wanted to point that out even though the pop quiz didn't do it that way or I didn't do it that way in the pop quiz. Okay so I'll, now I'll continue on. Now we're going to go to um, put an eight here in box five. Okay, And that was we have a let's see We have an 8 here, and we have an 8 here and an 8 here, so the 8 could be here or here. And again, just like we had these ghost 5s over here, we've got an 8 right here, we've got an 8 right here. So therefore, we have ghost 8s right here. So we know this couldn't be an 8 right here. We knew that had to be the 8. Okay. Now we've only got two numbers left in this row we're missing a four and a six okay. and uh, so we place a four right here oh I'm sorry I'm looking I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing I, I thought we filled in a number here but actually in the pop quiz we put a four in this position right here Okay. All right. And that is because we're missing one, four, six, and nine in this row right here. One, four, six, nine. And we've got a one, six, and a nine in this column already, so we knew that was a four. And uh, and then we could come up here and we put a four here and a three here to finish this row. If you remember, we put this two in here because we knew these are three four twins, and we could have actually filled I could have actually filled in these two numbers here because we have a three there, but I didn't do that till now, till later in the in the quiz. Then we put a six here because there are four and six missing in this row. And there's a four up there already. And then we put a four there. Now we've only got one place for a four to go in this box because we've got a four here, a four here, and a four here. So we knew that was a four. And then we had a one. We placed a one in uh, in this position. And let's see. We had a one here. Um, we only have two numbers left here. One, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a six here already, so we put a one there. But then I probably got distracted <laughs> as many of you have mentioned in your comments once in a while I there's an obvious number that I miss but uh, and in this case there's a six here that I didn't put in right away and that's because I saw the one seven twins right here and we put a one there 
already, so I put the seven there and the one there. And then I saw I knew of these two seven twins here, and since I filled those in, I I filled those in next. I'm gonna put a two there and a seven there. Now I could have filled those in earlier because we already had a two up here, but I didn't. And then I put the six in. To finish this box. Now we have a one right here because of these two ones. Okay, now we have two numbers missing here six and a nine, and there's a six right there. So we'll put the nine in, and then the six right there. Now the only things we have left are these three numbers here in box four and these three numbers here in box one. We've got an eight here. Well, hold on a second. We placed an eight here. Actually, we didn't know where that eight would go because um, we only have an 8 here. We could have gone here or here. But these numbers are 8, 2, and 9. 2, 8, and 9 that are missing here. We have a 2 and a 9 already in this column. So we knew that was an 8. And then we place the 2 in because of the 9 right there. And then we put the 9 in to complete that box. And then we've got 8, 2, and 6 missing here. So we've got an 8 and an 8 there. So we put an 8 in. And we had a put a 2 here. Because there's a 6 right there. <clears throat> and then we completed the box with the 6 there. And that's it. So that's how uh, the pop quiz was done. And I tried to explain each number as I placed them. Um, so I hope that helped. If you have any other questions or anything, um, please leave a comment. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. I think the next video I'll do is probably a, a diabolical from this uh, volume 109. I'll try and find a good one that has some really good examples in it. And uh, I'll see you then.